Hi, I'm Micah. And I'm Eliana. We're part of the teen design and build program at Girls Garage, and today we're going to build a simple planter box. We are using cedar fence boards for the box and redwood balusters for the legs because they're both naturally weather-resistant woods. First, we need to measure and cut all our pieces. For the box sides, we need four pieces at 24 inches and four pieces at 16 inches. For the bottom of the box, we need three pieces at 24 and a half inches. We also need a 15 and a half inch bracing piece. And for the legs, we need four ba balusters cut at 24 inches. We use a tape measure and a speed square to mark our measurements one at a time. And then we use the chop saw to make the cut. We'll do this for every single piece until we've done all of our pieces out of the cedar and the balusters. Next, we'll start assembling the box. We arrange the side pieces in a rectangle with the corners in a pinwheel pattern, with the end of each piece butting into the next board. Now we will drill a pilot hole and use one and five eight inch screws to attach the side pieces to the legs, three screws on each side. We are doing this with the planter box upside down because it's easier. We'll keep doing this at each corner until the one row is complete. Now we'll do the same thing for the second row of siding. We're also staggering our pinwheel direction for sturdier and nicer looking corners. So now we have the planter box with the sides but no bottom. Before we attach the bottom pieces, we need to cut notches in the corners so the pieces fit around the legs. We'll mark and measure two and a quarter inch squares and then use a jigsaw to cut them out. The jigsaw is a great tool for making small cuts like this. Now we can attach our bottom pieces with the notched pieces on the sides. We are using the same one and five inch inch screws we used before, placing them along the edge of the box about four to six inches apart. It's also a good idea to drill a few holes in the bottom for drainage using a half inch drill bit. Now we can flip it over. We're almost done. The last thing we need is a bracing piece inside the box to keep the bottom from sagging. We'll place our 15 and a half piece inside and screw it in from the outside and also the bottom. And that's it. Here's our standing planter box, ready to be planted with flowers and succulents.